What is good, C Squad? Today we're watching the PJs. And if you want to see more PJs, then make sure to like the video and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell if you have not already. Eleven cloud toilet today. That's a janitor's dozen. The only thing that gets me through days like this is knowing that I get to come home. Does he have a plunger hanger instead of a coat hanger? That's fucking gross. A patented power flush technology is guaranteed to eliminate even the toughest clog or your money back. Think of all the free time I have if we get this thing. I have a feeling if you buy that, it's gonna be stolen pretty quick. Just saying. It's probably hard to have nice things in the projects. Housing and urban development. Friends fun food stamps. <laughs> That's a little messed up. Yeah, when I asked what the projects were, a lot of you said in the comments that basically it's apartments funded by the government. Oh wait, so is that why Thurgood is the top dog as the superintendent? Cause technically there's no landlord. Cause most apartments have landlords. I ain't leaving here without my grandmaster flush. According to my records, your building doesn't have enough money left in its budget. <laughs> Did Thurgood, was Thurgood gonna use the money for the apartments for his own good? What an asshole. Computers to help us get into college. You wanna get into college? You better take up a sport. Didn't you learn nothing from watching Hoop Dreams? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this show. I really do. We need to reduce our expenses. Heat, electricity, and running water. How do you expect us to live that way? Same as we do now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Imagine if we did a charity where where we could raise money to better the projects. Like buy them new water heaters and such. That'd be pretty cool. I figure one way to cut down on the water bill is to just recycle. Oh, gross. That is so nasty. He's gonna reuse like toilet water for drinking water. I know we're in the projects, but even that's a little messed up. It's a good thing it's dark. I probably look a fright. Muriel, you look beautiful in any light. Ah! Thurgood is putting all of his tendons through hell just so he can get a new fucking toilet, which I'm pretty sure he's getting just for him and nobody else. We haven't saved enough money to buy a toilet yet. We've done everything but sell the building back to HUD. Hey, that gives me an idea. Wait, sell the building back to HUD? Wait, so then if HUD doesn't own the building, then who does? How are they gonna sell a building that isn't theirs? They're just people that live there. I don't know, someone smarter than me in the comments has to explain how that works. The fire escape. Jesus Christ, that was fucking brutal. This show always puts my Mexican brother through pain. However, I do want to mention that scene was pretty cool. The only thing greater than myself. Can we just pause for a second? Look how nice the inside of this elevator is. It looks clean as hell compared to everything else in this damn building. What kind of idiot would put a toilet in an elevator? A thinking man's idiot. I made it centrally located for everybody's convenience. This motherfucker put a toilet in an elevator? Holy shit, that's incredible. I don't know if I should be bewildered or impressed. That has to take some serious plumbing skills to put a to put a toilet in an elevator. Holy shit, they're good. We got a perfectly good outhouse on the corner. What? We ain't got no outhouse. Wait, do apartments in the projects not have their own personal toilets? That had to have been a joke for this show, right? There's no way. Are there bathrooms in the projects? Wait a minute. You're telling me the apartments in the projects don't have their own personal bathrooms? That's a lie. That's bullshit. Isn't that fantastic? And it's the Xerox machine. Damn, that's pretty good resolution. Zero ox? What the fuck is that? What did he say? It's a Xerox machine. What the fuck is Xerox? What is Xerox? It's just a fucking printer. <laughs> what? Should we keep the toilet? I say we got ourselves a house party. In reality, that toilet is probably getting stolen the very next day. Very good. Shouldn't you be at work? No, I should not. The Grandmaster Flush has handled all my duties. Is his job as a superintendent just to unclog toilets? Pretty sure you have way more duties than that, Thurgood. Also, is he a genius? What the hell is he making? Thurgood, stop playing with your 40. I thought Thurgood was hitting the bong. Let me take a look here. Please do not touch my lid. You have more germs under your fingernails than I have around my entire rim. <laughs> Thurgood's getting clowned on by his own toilet. Take any of your lid. Well, you are certainly not going to sit, you filthy, filthy man. I just realized this is a reference to... Is it Space Odyssey? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a reference to 2001 Space Odyssey with Hal the computer. If you want a ladies room, I'll take you outside. But what's this? Your resume. 
You're gonna need it. Damn. I gotta give it to the toilet. That was pretty good. And get rid of that lousy stinking latrine. Latrine? Oh, Lord. What has my sister done now? What? Latrine? Is that like a common, like, female African-American name? I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty fucked. It's brought to you by the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Huh. The poor people people. The poor people's people. I like that. That's good. Some compromising photographs of yours truly. Along with the negatives. Did he just put evidence that would go get himself in the toilet? That's fucked. I'm a loser. I know, but I really need you to flush down those pictures. He really did put down evidence against himself in those toilets. Loser. <laughs> Loser! Oh, God. Just broke her fingers and make an L shape. You may have taken my job, but you can never take my dignity. Now move your ball cock if you want me to wipe your rim. Huh? <laughs> that was some great wordplay. Oh, and I just got the rim part. Very good. You are not a loser. Look around you. You know, I gotta give it to Muriel. She knows how to put Thurgood in a good mood. That's the kind of significant other you need in your life. Completely supportive, even at your lowest. Also, look on the bright side, Thurgood. With your new job, you get a nice red coat. People come in here and they pull down their pants and their drawers and they climb up on top of you. They do what? Oh my God. God, that's disgusting! Wait, this genius robot of a toilet didn't know what it was used for? Wow! It's all a commotion! That's so fucking gross. What kind of idiot turns a toilet into a fountain? Idiot with the mind of a child. Please don't let those kids touch that water. That is so gross. I don't give a shit if that thing is clean. At the end of the day, that is a toilet. Now what the hell makes blue water turn green? My bad. Jesus, that is so gross. That is such a gross way to end an episode.